Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. Again this session we have a problem from the concept of permutation and combination. Let us see the question, yes. How many four digit even numbers can be formed, okay. So be careful with the question. So how many four digit numbers we have to form and that too even numbers okay so four digit even numbers we can form without the repetition of digits so that is we should not repeat the digits okay without repetition of digits using the digits okay so which digits we have to use it using the digits we have the following digits given 0 1 2 4 7 and 9 so using these digits okay let us have a note of these digits here 0 1 2 4 7 and 9 so totally if you see there are six digits are given using these six digits we need to form different different four digit even numbers we have to form okay and that too very precisely we should not repeat the digits okay so in that way if you try to form how many numbers can we form this is going to be the question and of course this is not going to be a very complicated question but uh, this is going to be little tricky okay a little bit interesting question we have to carefully work this question that is really important and let us now see some good approach to solve this problem okay let's work the question in bite-sized pieces okay so we'll just work the problem in piece by piece okay only then it will give you a clear understanding that's the reason okay fine yeah coming back to the problem as uh, we mentioned there are six digits uh, available here zero 1, 2, 4, 7 and 9 and using this what type of number we have to form? We have to form a four digit number. Okay, so that means we should form a four digit number. So dash 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 we have a four digit number and that too it is not just a four digit number it is four digit even number. Okay, that is what the condition is given there in the question. So what do you mean by even number? The moment you see this condition even number what can you uh, confirm? What can you conclude about this number? We can confirm about the about the units place of our number, is it or not? Because for a number to be an even number, it is all decided by what digit we have at the units place. I mean the ones place, okay? I mean the digit with which the number is ended, okay? So this digit matters to be an even number, okay? So that means if you want to make this whole entire number to be an even number, this digit what we feel here this must be an even digit is it or not so at that point we should be very sure at the first moment itself okay all right yes and now coming here as we uh, concluded this should be an even digit coming to our uh, choices okay now we have six digits here right now which among them which among these digits can be filled here that we have to think next okay so what digits are all even digits we know even digits are 0 2 4 6 and 8 correct okay and how many of them are available in our list that we have to see so we have zero is here and two is another even digit that is here and four is an even digit correct so it means either zero or two or four should only come at this units place that point we should be very clear okay now let us see how clearly we are going to work it out okay fine yes let me just work the problem in three different cases okay why three different cases you may ask the question for a clear understanding i'm just trying to show in that possible way okay fine yes so let's work let's work the question in case by case okay case by case we'll try to work the question so we'll have it first thing is here at the units place since we have got three different digits with which it can end right so i'm going to make three different cases here okay first case is ending with zero ending with zero okay so our four digit number is ending with a zero then what will happen fine okay and next what if our number is ending with ending with what is the next even digit next even digit is two right ending with two now what happens and last case is ending with ending with what is the other even digit it is four here okay ending with four now what happens okay so we will work out each of these cases separately and then we will finally add everything okay why because our answer should be either of any any one of these cases only right either this or this or this so finally we will add all these 
answers okay or all, all these cases values and that will give you the final answer okay is it or not so let's work the the first case ending with a zero okay so that means dash 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 this last slot is filled by zero okay now let us not touch this okay this is filled by zero so that means this is filled with that one possible way okay why i am writing one there is that is fixed that is only filled with zero there are no other digits possibility coming there that is the reason i am filling this one here remember this one doesn't stand for the digit one okay it stands for the only digit that comes here is the digit zero okay to represent that only there's only one digit coming here there's only one possible way i am filling that one here okay all right yes so that means we have filled this digit with the digit zero okay all right yes that is done now now remember there are other three slots there now these slots can be filled with any conditions do you have any other conditions here now what are the other digits left we have the other digits left are we have filled zero here okay so the problem is over what are the other available digits here here we have the digits let me write here okay one two four seven and nine these are the other available digits yes okay now we are going to fill these three slots using these five digits is the point clear hereafter do you think there are any other conditions are there no other conditions right why because we have filled the zero here now remaining five digits are here i can fill these three slots with any of these five digits i mean any three of the other five the five av available digits that's what i mean okay now in that case now come here this first slot can be filled in how many ways this can be filled with any one of these five digits is it or not so that means this first slot we have got five ways remember there are five ways because i have one or two or four or seven or nine any one of these five digits can come here so i've got five ways in which i can fill this slot multiplied by now coming to the second slot here when i come here now how many ways will be there there will be only four ways available why because any one of them okay already any one of them would have filled the first one okay fine yes now when you come here there will be only four choices correct okay so it means when you come for the second slot there are four ways to fill the second slot again when you come to this third slot one more is reduced out of five two are filled so there will be only remaining three uh, digits available so this can be filled in three different ways so that means what is the total number of ways here just multiply everything 5 into 4 into 3 into 1 so that will give you the answer as uh, uh, 60 right so that means there are 60 ways with which you can form a four digit number which is ending with zero clear is the point clear okay fine all right now coming to the second case here second case says ending with the digit 2 okay so this time we are going to fill our four slots in such a way that now this time this ending digit unit digit is now filled with the digit 2 the digit 2 this is the meaning okay all right so now i'm going to fill this digit with the digit 2 again to represent that i'm going to put one here stating that this is filled with the digit 2 there's only one possible way okay to represent that i have filled this okay now think again think here when you come to fill this digit with 2 now what are the other remaining digits here what are the other digits which are left over now so other digits are here we have we are filled with 2 correct now note down the other uh, remaining digits so we, are, we will be now left with 0 then 1 leave this 2 this 2 is already filled here now we have 4 or 7 or 9 okay these are the other 5 digits left now the other three digits are to be filled with these five digits only that we have to remember remember properly okay all right yes fine now coming back again start from the first slot okay now just see this slot this slot can be filled in how many ways that we have to think yes okay be clear this slot can be filled in how many different ways we can fill this in see here we have got five digits just hold on and think for a moment can you fill this slot with any one of these five digits is that possible no it is definitely not possible why because here this time we have the digit zero also included so in that case in that case we cannot fill this first slot i mean the first digit with a zero why why we can't fill this slot with a zero because the moment you fill this with a zero this number will no more be a four digit number 
Is it or not? Why? Because you have a four digit number. So that means in order to make this to be a four digit number, your first digit should be a non zero digit. Is it, is it clear? Yes. That's the obvious point, right? I cannot have a zero here. Why? Because if you fill a zero here, this will not become a four digit number. Maybe it will become a three digit number. It becomes a three digit number. Is it or not? So that means we should be cautious here in filling this first slot. And here you can fill any of these digits except this zero. Okay. So that in, ca in that case, you will have how many ways in filling this first slot? You will have only four ways. Okay. Why? Because already two is filled here. We have got remaining five digits. And now except the zero, you have other four digits. Any one of those four can come here. So four ways to fill this first slot multiplied by multiplied by now come to the second slot here. Now the second slot can be filled in how many different ways that also we have to think here. Okay. How many ways it can be filled now? Now just think properly. Now how we have filled it out of these five remaining digits. One of these non zero digits would have occupied this first slot. So now what are the digits remaining? There are three non zero digits available and one zero is available. Now again, we have got four remaining digits. Be clear. Okay. Be clear with this. We have other three non zero digits because one of these four non digit non zero digit would have appeared here. And for that reason, there are only three non zero digits and one zero. That means there are four digits available. Still there are four digits available. Now any one of those four can come here. I mean, this time it will include the zero also. Because this time hereafter, there's no problem. When you take zero here or here, it won't affect your questions condition. Why? Because when you have a four digit number, the in between digits can be zero. That will not affect your number. The thing is, only the first digit can't be zero. That's the reason we restricted zero to come here. But hereafter, there's no restriction. So that means when you come here, you still have three non zero digits and one zero making there are four choices to fill this second slot. I hope it is clear to you now. Fine. Okay. Yes. Multiplied by now coming here. Now how many slots will be there? I mean, how many ways to fill this one will be there to fill this. You will have what are the other things remaining? You have other three digits remaining. Okay. Because out of those four, one of them will be filled and you will still have three more digits available. So three ways. Okay. So now you multiply everything. This will give you the possibility. So what will be uh, four into four into three into one? So this will be actually 48. Is it or not? So this will be 48. And yes, coming to the last case, what will be the last case? Last case one, two, three, four. Again, this one says this case here we have our four digit number ending with the digit four. Okay, so that means here we are going to fill again one possible way. Okay, again, this is going to be filled with one possible way, one possible way. And that one possibility is what is this digit four? Okay, all right, yes. And now when you fill this digit with four, what will be the other digits remaining? You will have the other digits to be zero, one, two, and then seven, and then nine. See, yes, clear. Why? Because here in the previous case, we had a two. The two is filled here, and here we have four is filled here. That's the only change. Apart from that, the other conditions are going to be same. So that means instead of the remaining digits here, if you see instead of four, here we have two, but the others are going to be same only here. Is it or not? Here again, if you come to fill the first three slots, it is again going to be the same. Why? Because you have, you have what? You have four non-zero digits and one zero. And that means this one can be filled with only four non-zero digits. Any one of these four non-zero digits only. So that means four ways into again, you will have what when you come to the second slot, again, the same story happens. Okay. Again, the same situation will be continued. You will have three non zero digits and one zero. So four ways multiplied with again other three ways. Okay. So you will have four into four into three into one. Again, the product will be 48. Okay. Yes. So this is where we should be very careful. Fine. Okay. All right. And to make this problem even more comfortable, even more easy, what we can do is we can just combine these last two cases together. Okay. So we can just have this problem with just two cases. First case is ending with zero and second case is ending with either two or four. That way also we can collide these two. Okay. So what happens is we'll have four into four into three into two ways. We can just combine those two conditions with four into four into three into two ways directly. We can put that, but in order to make you uh, give you understand. Okay. 
to give you the clarity i just made it as separate cases and later after telling this if i reveal you may have some idea that's the reason okay fine yes so yeah this is what we should be very careful here in working out this question okay so see here here we have ending with zero and here with ending with non zero even digit okay so those two cases are different and try to understand the difference how we have okay so here when you have the zero all are non zero digits so that's why we had no uh, restrictions here to fill the other three digits we just directly filled it but when it comes to a non zero digits here okay so here we had zero zero and so we had this uh um comfortability but here when it comes here here we have to follow that restrictions because this first digit cannot be zero that's the reason okay fine yes so we have this so anyways when you try to add everything you will be getting the overall answer okay so what is uh 60 plus 48 plus 48 so this will be our answer so this 48 plus 48 will have will be 96 right so this will be 96 96 plus 60 will give you 156 yes okay so that means the overall answer is going to be 156 is the answer for this question and our answer is available at option d option d 156 is going to be the answer for our this question